Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of the expected value of the product and ratio of two random variables from the from a given joint probability mass function. So, given the probability mass function, joint probability mass function p of x comma y is equal to c into x into y for values of x equal to one to four and y equal to one comma three and zero otherwise. So, given this joint probability mass function. Our goal is to find the expected values of random variable w for case one in which w is equal to the ratio y by x that is y to x and also we want to find the expected value of w when it is equal to the product that is product of two random variables x and y. So in the first case that is when w is equal to y upon x, the the range of the w that is the values of w corresponding to this function are for x equal to one and y equal to one, the ratio is one. For x equal to one, three by one, that should be three. And for x equal to two, y equal to one, it is one by two. And similarly for other values, three by two, one by four, and three by four. So this is the range of the values of W. So the function, I mean the value, expected value, the expected, the expectation of W is given by definition. The summation of all values of W of the product W times the mass, the probability mass function of W, and this is also equal to for all those uh, the equal to the summation of the joint PMF x comma y multiplied by the uh, sub the function of W that is y by x multiplied by p x comma y x comma y that is the joint PMF multiplied by the function y comma x or all values of x and y. So the key idea is that the expectation of the new random variable w is also equal to the expectation uh, of the function that is the function defined in this random variable, new random variable that is y by x over the original joint PMF. So by using this definition, we can easily calculate the expectation value of the ratio. So this is equal to c times for the value of x and y equal to one and one. That is for x equal to one and y equal to one, we have one. And then we have for x equal to one and y equal to three, we have three by one into three into one. Plus for x equal to one and y equal to uh, for x equal to two and y equal to one, we have one by two into two into one. Similarly, for other values, we have three by two into three into two, and similarly we have one by four into four into one. Plus finally we have. Three by four into four into three, so this is equal to c times c multiplied by one plus nine plus one plus nine plus one plus nine. So this is equal to thirty c. Therefore, the expected value of the ratio y by x should be equal to thirty times c. Next, for value w equal to x into y. The range consists of the values for the x equal to one and y equal to one. From this function, from x equal to one and y equal to one, we have one. For x equal to one and y equal to three, we have three. And similarly, for other values, we have two, six, four, and twelve. So these are the uh, values in the range of W when the function is x into y. So now. The expected value of W, that is expectation of x into y, which is also the correlation of the random variables x and y, should be equal to the summation or or all values of x and y of the product x into y into the probability mass function, joint probability mass function p x of y. So this is, should be equal to by using the definition of this joint mass function, joint probability mass function, we have c times summation over all values of x and y of x into y whole square. So, which is equal to c times from the definition here. From this definition, we have one plus one into three, that is three square, plus two two into one, that is two. Come on, the next one is two square plus two into three six, that is six square, and also four into one, that is four four square, that is and next twelve into two twelve, that is four into three is twelve, so twelve square. So this should be equal to two hundred and ten to c. Therefore, the expected value of x into y, that is the correlation between the random variables x and y, is equal to 210 into c. Hence, given a, a joint probability mass function p of x comma y, it is possible to 
calculate the expected values of this new random variables y by x and x comma y. That is the expectations of the ratio and the product of the two random variables. Thanks for watching.